Welcome back everyone, this is Dark Silence from Dark Silence Reviews coming at you with another stream. Today we are going to be playing a little bit of Meow Motors by developers Art Vistock. I'm only going to go through a little bit of the game to try and show off some of what, uh, what it has to offer. Uh, it's one of those easier achievement kind of games. Definitely a quicker completion. I believe that there is a difficulty, but it does not offer online multiplayer or verses. So that's that. I, that to me, I feel like takes down the the replay value quite a bit. But it's really, really, really well done. Uh, and it's it's a real shame because it's actually a really solid game. So before I get started here, I'm gonna make sure we're live. They always have a problem with that. Make sure we're live. We are live. We're good to go. All right. So I will be uploading this for my YouTube followers a little bit later, uh, and I have a couple other streams planned for today. I just want to get as much of the content out as possible. Uh, so far. I'm going to read off some of the achievements that I've already acquired. I have 10 out of 38 achievements. A good majority of the achievements are just to complete all the races. Uh, that's going to be very, very easy. Uh, another one is to switch through all the racers and all the race cars, which is another one that's very, very easy. And then stars for drift races and stuff. And then I believe their harder achievement would probably be the 10 times multi multiplier, I would say. Uh, there's probably a certain race, I'm thinking it's a snow level, and earn 150,000 points in one drift, which is probably like a multiplier times 10 as well. So you probably should pop those both at the same time. It's worth 50 apiece, quite a few diamonds. Uh, but for the most part, you should be able to pull it off if you're actually like really de decent or you just put it on easy honestly like there's no real uh, effort or hard hard uh, parts in the game um, there's there's stuff for like using specific weapons over and over again uh, earning all stars for all events and defeating the like main villain I lowered the music because uh, we all know how YouTube can be so so I've already completed a few of these uh, each little race is like three stars uh, some of them are like verses and some of them are drift uh, the races are easy it's like two laps three laps and then the, the drift is pretty easy too I usually get the drift done like instantly you only need like 750 points to get the drift and I always end up with like a couple thousand or more um, all of them seem it's pretty solid pretty easy game uh, the difficulty can be uh, moved up depending on uh, what you want to play. Anyhow, let's get started. Uh, already three minutes in, just uh, talking about the game thus far. Uh, I'm going to get maybe like a couple, like maybe like a checkpoint or two done. And that I think feel, I feel like should be solid. Uh, as for the achievements, it's pretty easy. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know when like some of them pop up and explain what it needs you to do. Most of them are drift with a certain way or, or use a certain weapon. But visually, visually, I think it's really, really well done. Uh, I think a lot of people who like those Mario Kartish kind of games are going to really enjoy the game. And the drift is just pushing B at the right time. There's one for... dodging all those explosives. Uh, the majority of it is going to be kind of easy. I know it's going to be a little weird down there because... Uh, because there's no music, but... YouTube, you know? See, I'm already about to get the 10,000 or 1,000 points for drifting.
I would say this would be a good track to, uh, to kind of uh, to drift in on too. It would be really, really good. But you gotta kind of like keep it going. I apologize to some of like my viewers and stuff that uh, I've kind of been like taking a little break for the summer, but we're getting back to it little by little. As uh, school's gonna be starting up, so I wanna get everything off on the open on here already. A few more games to cover in the day, but we'll see what happens. Hey, we got the points there. Pretty easy. Didn't even have any problems. Uh, a lot of them are going to be kind of like that. I, I don't think the difficulty matters when it comes to the, the drifting. Uh, let me see. Get the race done out of the way and use the drift for last. You're going to have to like redo uh, quite a few of the stages. But... Visually, like, I think we did a really good job on it, too. There's no way you, you won't get first. There's a way to dodge those. I believe there's a way to... Uh, there's an achievement tied to the shark. Uh, what you gotta do is bring up the shield just before, uh... It hits you. It's very, very Mario Kart-ish. Like launch certain weapons, and as you could, as you progress through the stages and stuff, you'll unlock even more. The only thing that I think they should have implemented into the game is backward shooting. I haven't seen the ability to do that unless I missed it somewhere. Uh, holding back like your traditional cart games doesn't work to shoot backwards. I really like the shark that we did down this uh, track. Alright. One lap, got done. Got an achievement for that one. Last ounce of strength, win the circuit, race on the damaged car. They kind of like launched a bunch of those sharks at me, so that was an achievement done right there. You should have, you should get that naturally. Just don't fix your car. <laughs> okay, we unlock the next area. Drift, use that car. Ooh, this one's up to 2,000 points.
Come back to it. Definitely make sure you switch to each and every character as you progress. It's going to help you uh, get another achievement aside to that. easy game all in all um, is a new track every like area but they have they, they make you kind of like redo quite a few of them can't change the colors that's what you're into cosmetically uh, doesn't really do anything it's just for show
usually it's like three, three per weapon on the belt for like another achievement. Usually each weapon has like three or a certain amount or certain X amount of uh, cars you have to hit with them. Okay, let's uh, get drift zone done. Okay, so it's up to 2,000 points now. It's getting a little bit more challenging. At least I got the points done. You'll eventually get it. You just gotta find the right track to do it on. I may have not unlocked the perfect track for it yet. It's probably a track up coming soon or something that has like a lot of like drift area. So it looks like the amount does go up uh, the closer you get towards the end. So bear that in mind, if you're getting that far into the game.
things so close, save time for the player. But then Ten was sitting here. Essentially you could probably do it anywhere on any track. So long you have your control on the car and you don't stop the drift. stars. Power up there, destroyer. Definitely use drift though to go around those corners as it doesn't slow you down. Same like as the rest of the game. So. Drift is started with the B button, but they'll, te they'll teach you that over the course of the first uh, area. I kind of wish you could shoot backwards. Really help uh, the strike zones a lot and the uh, the racing. Okay, so there's there's one for the, for behind. Destroyer. Somebody drives on it. They get destroyed or hurt. It's like a mine. I guess that's where uh, drifting into the right weapons or running over the right node probably benefit a little bit more. All in all, a pretty easy game. One of those easier completions.
I will be uploading this to YouTube for later viewing as well, like I said earlier, for uh, everybody to check out. It'll be a nice little Let's Play segment. I would say it lures more the achievement hunters, uh, people that just like kart racing games, as far as like online competitive leagues. They don't. They don't offer online, which is a shame. Charge up for the weapons is usually hold the A button down. But you can only get them every so often. It'll tell you when you get it. So that's good. It's over real quick. Like minute races, two minute races. Switch to that car. Keep, uh, head a little bit here. This one out. Do the strike zones first. Actually, like those ones, they're pretty quick. Everyone seems to have their own little uh, perk.
there. Number 40. 25 stars and strike strike races. Strikes. All of them in this area seem to be about five. Just want to kind of skip ahead a little bit. I could always go back. This mode would have been pretty fun on uh So like whenever they're like about to repair themselves, you gotta hit them right around that area. That one should come naturally too.
fuck. Oh, we'll miss that one. It's all about the weapon pickups. Got like four more areas left. I feel like I've covered a bit of like what the game has to offer. Race drift and um, strike zone. Uh, it kind of repeats itself over and over again. You know, left depending on the um, the requirements for the races. Some of them are like one lap, or like the two. It just kind of shifts from one thing to another. This was a one lap race, so figured just get it done. Got another uh, event, event done, and then um, I'm gonna cut off. I feel like it's an adequate amount. Uh, I, I've shown off a bit of the game and what it has to offer. Uh, don't want to run it too long, uh, as uh, it'll give away some of like the last tracks. I want to leave a little bit of a mystery for some people. All in all, pretty easy to patient for the game. Just gotta beat everything. All the achievements should start popping closer towards the end. Once you unlocked everything, done just about everything. I don't want to have to repeat some of the races on stream two. Uh, I feel like I've gone through just about all of the races that are currently available in some form or another. Every area unlocks one new race, so. An achievement there. I came, I saw, I won. Earned 30 stars in circuit races. New power up. Booster. And then I'll do one more. Laps, a drift. Lap race, I'll do the drift. Alright, this will be my last one, I'll be cutting off and then uh, get into something else. Uh, check my Twitter later for some more updates and whatnot. I have quite a bit that I want to get done today.
cut off here uh, once again that was Miel Motors by developer Art Vistock. Uh, once again, it is currently available on the Xbox Live Marketplace. I highly recommend it to any achievement hunters that are looking for an easy completion and a visually, like, decent game. Uh, if you like Mario Kart-ish kind of racers, this is more up your alley. Uh, there is no online co-op. That's a big downfall for me. Uh, or versus. Or competitive. Whatever you want to call it. Uh... That sucks. Maybe in their next installment, they'll you know they'll 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 put that in there. Um, for the most part, there's no difficulty achievements. Um, so far, I am at 14 of 38 achievements, and a good majority of them should be popping towards the end, or even the middle areas. Uh, completing all of the events definitely helps. Getting all the stars. The ones that will probably take a little bit of time are, are the 15,000 points for one drift and the 10 times multiplier. That's going to take some time. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of effort, but I think it, I think it could be done. Uh, just keep practicing, and you should be getting it towards the end. You have a lot of tracks and a lot of times to, to try it on, so uh, I, think, I think it's definitely doable. Um, give me one second here, I apologize, as I was clearing it up. Anyhow, uh, I apologize for that delay at the end there. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, once again, that was Meow Motors. It is currently available in Xbox Live Marketplace for any and all to procure. I feel that 47 minutes was more than enough to show off what the game has to offer. Um, I probably won't do another stream for it as, you know, it is what it is. And uh, the completion is pretty easy. And I could do that all, all the rest of that off stream. Uh, there's only three different modes. I think there's one that's circuit racing and one that's regular racing. And not too bad. I, I think the graphics are decent. I think the, the gameplay is really, really good. It's really, really well done. Uh, I do hope that the company does in, incorporate some type of multiplayer versus maybe in their next installment. Uh, hopefully this gets enough sales and... Uh, they get enough copies bought and a lot of people like like the game like myself and end up uh, uh, looking forward to the next one as well. Uh, once again, like I said, thank you all for watching. I will be uploading this to YouTube at, uh, in a bit, hopefully later, and I will be uploading uh, updating my Twitter uh, today with a couple other little updates. So stay posted and thanks for watching, everyone.